Hey YouTube, Brando here. Today we're going to try out some new coffee. Uh, a buddy of mine bought a five pound bag of this stuff and it's referred to by the company as the world's strongest coffee. It's made by Death Wish Coffee Co. Uh, we'll cut to a scene of the bag and the beans in the back of the bag and all that good stuff so you can get your info off of it. A uh, five pound bag on Amazon runs right around $80 so I wasn't going to buy any. Uh, but he bought some and took me a little bit out, wanted me to try it. Now I love strong coffee. I'm a big time coffee drinker. Uh, not as a necessity. I don't wake up in the morning and necessarily need a cup, uh, cup of coffee to go anywhere or do anything uh, to start my day out. But I do like strong coffee. Uh, and I don't drink coffee every day either. I drink coffee probably a lot more in the winter time than I do in the summertime. Uh, but if I need a quick pick me up in the summertime instead of an energy drink, I'll usually have a little cup of coffee. Uh, my coffee's, you know, usually a mud consistency. So uh, we're just going to test and see how strong this stuff really is because I'm going to make a regular pot, uh, pot of coffee just like I would with some folders. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to smell it. <clears throat> And I haven't done anything with this yet. I haven't tasted it. I haven't smelled it. Mm. Smells like coffee grounds. Uh, don't smell extra strong, so I'm not too sure about that. But we're going to figure it out anyway, aren't we? So let's make a cup. Uh, I'll cut to a scene of the bag and show you a little bit on the bag. And then we will uh, go ahead and make a cup and do a taste test on it and let you know how it tastes. Alright, so here's what the front of the bag looks like. Again, it's a five pound bag. I'm not sure if you can get it in smaller batches or not. Death Wish Coffee Co. Beautiful picture. Uh, just makes you want to drink it, don't it? Here's what the beans look like. You can get this in ground uh, coffee, or you can get it in whole beans already roasted, ready to go. And the back of the bag, world's strongest coffee. Beans are carefully selected. Well, I'm not going to read all that. If you want to, you can pause it and read it. It is an organic coffee, supposedly grown in fair trade. So, you know, I drink Folgers, so that don't really uh, apply to me. But if I like it, I don't know. I might buy some. Five, five pounds of coffee is a lot of coffee, and eighty dollars is a lot of money to spend on five pounds of coffee. So, uh, I doubt that I'll be buying any anytime soon. But who knows, it may be the best coffee I've ever drank, so we'll find out here in just a minute. Alright folks, so here it is. Uh, and you can see why I like strong coffee, because I mask it with uh, plenty of creamer, a little bit of sugar. Not much sugar, I can't have a lot of sugar. But I do mask it with a little bit of sugar. Um, so let's taste it, see what we have. It's strong. Uh, it is strong. Much stronger than Folgers. And lately I've been buying uh, Starbucks Extra Bold. Uh, forget what kind it is, but it's pretty strong too. And I'd say yep, that may be just a little bit stronger. So not too bad. Uh, 80 bucks. Hell no, I wouldn't pay eighty dollars for it. It's not that great, uh, but it's not too bad. And you can see plenty of cream in there, buddy. I don't like, uh, you know, I like light colored coffee with a dark flavor. You know what I mean? That's the route I go anyway. Uh, so we'll give it, you know, one thumbs up. It ain't gonna get the full two thumbs up for not from us anyway. That's gonna be it for this one. Thanks for watching, YouTube.